Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. It's Lauren. Thank you so much for watching. Today I wanted to share with you guys some of my Sephora recommendations. The VIB sale is coming up. <laughs> I did not know this. The VIB sale is usually like way later. I don't know if there's going to be another one. I don't know why this is like so surprising to me, but I got requested by one of you guys on Instagram to let you guys know my recommendations and I did this video last year. This isn't something I normally do, but I do have enough things that I truly love and that's what this is. These are products that I think are amazing, tried and true. I would purchase with my own money, whether I got it for free or haven't, or I have repurchased with my own money. Like these are strong staples that I can stand behind. When it comes to recommendations, I just wanna always make sure that it's something that I know I would stand behind 100%. So that's what these products are. I still love all the products in my video from last year. So I'll leave that video linked down below if you want some more recommendations, cause I will not be covering any of those in this one. I just wanted to talk about new favorites. And then I will also be telling you guys some of the products that I'm going to be picking up during the sale. To be frank, I don't think that 15% off is that much or 20% off is like the most amazing sale. I know people get like crazy for the Sephora sale. Saving money is saving money and I think that's great. But I do want to have just a little bit of a reminder that, you know, you don't have to buy a million things. I know back in the day when I was just like in the hype of it all, I would drop hundreds of dollars. Like I'm talking like three, four hundred dollars on items during the sale because I was like, oh my gosh, 20%, like you can't beat it. And there are sales from other companies. Some of the stuff might even go on sale later on when it comes close to Christmas. Like just keep that stuff in mind, have fun and enjoy and get some cool purchases, but also maybe don't get too carried away and know that if there's something out there, you might be able to get it on sale a little bit later uh, down the line so maybe just pick up the stuff you can actually test out in a reasonable amount of time anyway um <laughs> with that all being said i'm gonna leave the dates down below for all the specific uh when the sale starts and the codes and all of that but i believe for vib rouges it starts on the 24th of august and four which will be like when this video goes up or like the next day and for regular vibs it will start on the 30th and i think everyone it starts on the 30th anyway let's get into my recommendations i'm gonna start off with some like face products or base products the first item I want to talk about is from Becca. This is the Becca First Light Priming Filter. I have a travel size of this because I bought it in a set with a couple other things. And this is a really beautiful, I would say like a skin prep item. If you're looking for a primer that's going to really smooth and that's going to keep you matte, like this is not that type of primer, but I think this is a beautiful product on the skin. It adds a little bit of luminosity. I think this is a great product to wear on the skin if you don't want to put any makeup on, but you just want want that little something extra to your skin. This is so beautiful. You just look radiant without looking like overly greasy. There's no like shimmer really to this product. It's just absolutely beautiful. It has a light like citrus scent to it. It's a very liquidy product. It adds a little bit of hydration but nothing too slippery or silicone-y and it's not too heavy. So I think this would be great for people with combination to dry skin. If you're super oily and you love that matte look, you might not like this but for me, I have oily skin and I I love this product. All right, I'm warning you, if I didn't warn you at the beginning, like I'm talking about stuff that I've probably talked about before on my channel, and that's because they're things I really truly love. This is the Too Faced Hangover 3-in-1 Setting Spray. I freaking love this thing so much. I will be picking up another one of these because I'm about here on it, and I love, love this product. This reminds me of MAC Fix Plus. Like it works a very similar way to me where it's going to kind of settle down any powders. It makes the skin look really fresh and a little dewy. Nothing super oily, it just kind of gives it that skin finish back. This is freaking way too expensive. It, they're robbing us. They're robbing us. <laughs> this retails for $32, so it's expensive. MAC Fix Plus is only about like 20 something, but if you're cruelty free, this is a great option. This also smells so good. This smells like a medical coconut scent is how I like to describe it. It's coconutty. I don't think it's like overly sweet or overly scented though. It's just my favorite. Like I love using this. The experience of it is amazing. I love that it's not one of those like setting sprays that is going to really lock in your foundation where it's almost like spraying hairspray on your face or something. And as a bonus, I love that this also works well to actually foil eyeshadows. Not all setting sprays work the same when it comes to that and this one works really well. So 
I love this product. I've used up a small one. I'm almost done with this big one and I'm gonna repurchase it. My last kind of base product is another product from Becca. This is the Under Eye Brightening Corrector. I have mine in light medium and then I believe there's a second one in medium dark. This is just a beautiful product. It looks so great on the skin. This is definitely a very humectant and like sticky. I feel like sticky is such a negative word when it comes to makeup, but really this is quite a thick and and, uh, tacky product. This looks so beautiful under the eyes. I like to use my finger to pat it in because I think it really just spreads nicely with the warmth of your finger. I don't like to use too, too much of this and I definitely find that it brightens the area not only because it's correcting with that like peachy undertone to kind of counteract dark circles, but also it has this luminosity to it that also kind of reflects light back so that it's not looking dark on your inner corners and under your eyes. So I really love this product. I highly suggest it. It's just a really beautiful product. I have a small size here. I got this in the set with that other Becca primer. So if I can find that set, I will leave it linked down below. Um, but I would definitely repurchase this once I finish it up. I really, really like it. I really, really like all of it. I have two kind of like face powder products, like color products I guess. One is kind of fun and I just wanted to bring this up because this is just like a nice blush. I've really been enjoying it. It's from Ciate London. I have the shade Baby Doll. These are their more like shimmery blushes. These kind of remind me of the Milani ones but I love them. I think they're so so pretty. They definitely have a sheen to them and like a little bit of sparkle. I talked about these in a products I love butt video and these definitely are going to kind of accentuate some texture. I find that with myself throughout the day as like my foundation kind of breaks down a little and oils show through that this does make my skin look a little textured but I still think it's beautiful I still wear it I think this is great they have quite a few different colors now this is like a marbled product so every one of them is going to be slightly different but overall I think this is a really nice blush if you don't wear a lot of blush but you kind of just want one you could wear a lot of the time I think this one's really pretty and Personally, I really like going into fall and winter. I like to keep the glow going because of the fact that I feel like the skin's getting dry from the weather changes. And so for me, adding some luminosity kind of just counteracts that so that you don't look just like dry and cakey. And speaking of staying glowy, I wanted to mention, I mean, another Becca product. Wow, they really infiltrated this one. But this is a classic, classic product. This is the Shimmering Skin Perfector. I have the shade Moonstone, and this is something that I bought initially because because of all the hype and I enjoyed it and then there was this time where I was like I don't really like this product I don't know what all the hype's about and now I'm back to really loving it I feel like I love it more than I ever have um, since having this product I'm wearing it today but I'm also wearing like another highlighter I did a whole a tutorial on this look it's gonna be a part of a four looks one palette but anyway it's underneath the highlighter I have on and this is just so beautiful I suggest this basically for all skin types and ages um, they have a color for all different skin tones and what I love about this product is that it's very versatile. I feel like depending on the brush that you're using, how dense the brush is, how much product you're applying, you can get so many different looks. You can do something a little bit more subtle and like light, or you can kind of build it up and even add some setting spray and really get more of a metallic-ish finish. So I just, I highly suggest these. You can also buy these in the mini form, which is what I suggest to do if you have a big collection or even if you don't. They're $19 for the small one. These are freaking expensive products um, but if you get the small one it's gonna last you for forever and if you're someone who likes to try a lot of products you can try out the formula and the color without you know spending the entire amount of money and I promise you you probably will never go through that small little guy I'm gonna be talking about two eyeshadow palettes in here one's a little bit more neutral one's a little bit more fun and colorful and these are products in my collection that I really really enjoy I use quite often and the first one is something that's a little bit older you might already have this so if you do bust it out and enjoy it. And I get to talk about this because Violet Voss is now carried at Sephora. This is the Violet Voss Pro Eyeshadow Palette. It's the original Holy Grail Eyeshadow Palette. Now there was a time on YouTube when everyone, everyone was talking about this palette. And honestly, you know, it can be a little deceiving. Like, is it real or is it hype? Like, what is it? And honestly, I think this product is very, very good. I believe this retails for 45 ish dollars and it's the classic kind of like warm tones those reds, those oranges, but I find that this palette has everything I need to create just very simple looks. I tend to reach for transition and are you kidding me quite often. Has so many different lid shades. I think this would work for a lot of different skin tones. And honestly guys, the quality
quality of these shimmers is it's beautiful it really is a beautiful palette so if you were for whatever reason really missing out on some of these warm tones didn't have enough in your life I think this is a great palette um, I'm not sure if you can get these on better deals like via Violet Voss or whatever but uh, I really like this palette and I want to suggest it I think it's good it's one that I don't want to take out of my collection anytime soon and I really enjoy the formula and the other eyeshadow palette that I wanted to mention is something that's a little bit more fun this is from Kevin Aquan and I picked this up actually through Octoly so this was sent to me it was a product that when it had launched I thought it was beautiful so there's a little sneak peek of the colors I thought this palette was beautiful I liked that it was colorful but I wasn't going to pick it up it was just kind of one of those ones like oh that's pretty but since I was able to get it I am so glad I would have never picked this palette up and it's so so good I feel like everyone sleeps on this palette but it's so beautiful I am wearing this shade today all over the eyelid and then I also have it covered in this one it's like a duochrome these shadows are like unlike any other shadow I've ever used before. They're super pigmented. I highly suggest using your fingers to apply a lot of these colors, but I'm telling you, it's absolutely stunningly beautiful. I kind of at first was like, this color combination's weird, but honestly, I think it's great. It's interesting, it's different, but you still get some neutrals. Like this is neutral, you get a black. Um, this one can be neutral, and then you have some like warmer tones, which I think people are more comfortable with. But then you have this beautiful, like almost periwinkle. You have some beautiful greens. It's just beautiful. This is all shimmer, so if you're gonna get this, you probably would wanna pair it with another palette in your collection that has some mattes in it. I think that's the best way to get a well-rounded look, but today for my eye look, I'm just wearing this palette, so. Yeah, I love this. This is something that's a bit more fun, maybe not as practical, but if you're a makeup lover, I think the quality of this is great. I think it's a wonderful palette. I have three more products to talk about. Next is something that's a little bit newer to me, but something I've really been enjoying and I suggest. This is a lip gloss from Laura Mercier. It's the Lip Glossé in the shade Baby Doll. Now they have a bunch of different colors, but I really like the formula of this. It is a nice kind of medium opacity gloss. This shade specifically is like this really beautiful like peachy pink shade. It has a little bit of shimmer in it, but the shimmer is not big enough to really feel on the lips. It doesn't like wear off in a weird way. This is not a sticky gloss, but I find it does stay on the lips quite a long time. I love the amount of color this gives me. It's it's something that kind of pulls together a look and makes me feel finished and complete without being high maintenance. Um, I definitely like a low maintenance lip. And on top of all of that, the smell of it is so good. It smells like a vanilla cupcake and I really enjoy that as well. I was sent this, but I enjoy this product and definitely want to look into buying more, not only for myself, but also for my kit. I have a lip balm here and this is actually more like a treatment, but I love this. You guys have heard me talk about this a million times. This is the Laneige Lip Sleeping Mask and it's amazing. I have a small little sample. I was lucky enough to get one that way, but I have purchased one of these for my mom because she was like, I want one. So I bought that for her for Christmas. And this is just an amazing lip mask. If you or someone who suffers from really dry chapped lips I suggest this product because I find that when I leave this on overnight when I wake up my lips just feel hydrated without having that kind of like peeling lizard process <laughs> a lot of lip balms or lip treatments that I've used overnight when I wake up in the morning I feel like my lips are just peeling all this like dead skin and nasties off and this doesn't do that but I still feel just as hydrated and I love it this one happens to be the strawberry scent, which I believe is like the original one, but I know that Sephora started carrying, I think, the other ones. Like, they have other scents if you want to try those out, but I love this one, and I also love the way this looks on the lips. If you wanted to just wear this throughout the day, I think the color of it's really nice. It's very, very sheer. Like, it basically is your lips, but there's something about it that gives this, like, milky look to the lips. It's beautiful. So, highly suggest this. It's $20. It'll last you for freaking ever, and it's worth the investment. And last I feel like I just have to mention this. I have one hair product and it is my Moroccan oil dry shampoo in the light tones. They also have a dark tones if you happen to have darker colored hair. This is like my all-time favorite dry shampoo. It's freaking expensive. So if you're gonna try it out, I suggest getting the discount on it. This smells amazing. Moroccan oil is one of my favorite scents out there. So I love that about it. But not only that, this actually freaking works and is amazing. It makes my hair feel refreshed and clean without leaving too much grit or anything. It really doesn't add any grit to my hair which I love I don't like when I feel like I put dry shampoo in and then I can't like move my hair around that's no fun and again with that smell it's like you just feel like so refreshed because of the smell too so this is definitely one of the most confidence boosting hair products that I have in my 
collection because my hair gets so oily. I just feel confident, I smell good, I look good, and I love it. I think it's worth the money at full price, but again, you might as well get it on a discount. All right, and then at the end here, I thought it would be fun to go through my list of things that I'm kind of eyeing with the sale, things that I think I might pick up. I do have a gift card, so I'm thinking about waiting to use it for the sale, might as well, right? I tried to keep this minimal, and I don't feel like I did a good job, but We'll see. Also with this list, I tried to keep it to brands that I can't get on a discount at other places because I am a pro makeup artist. I can get pro discounts on certain things, um, but not all brands are sold at different places, whatnot. So if there's something out there that you're like, wait, I thought you wanted that, this would be a good time. I'm probably not getting it at this time because I could get a better deal on it later. First off, I have a couple things from Too Faced that I wanna pick up. One, I'm repurchasing that spray that I talked about earlier. And then I'm pretty sure I'm gonna pick up the Too Faced Born This Way, a super coverage multi use sculpting concealer. I've heard kind of mixed reviews on it. Some people really love it. Some people are like, eh, it's okay. But I am running out of concealer and this looks like one that I actually want to try. So I'm going to probably pick this one up. It retails for $29 and there are 20 shades of it. That one was something that just kind of intrigued me and I'm just... I'm ready to try a new concealer. I have a couple different lip glosses on this list. The first one is from Bite Beauty and it's one of the French pressed lip glosses and I want the shade flat white. I've heard great things not only from Raw Beauty Christie, some of you in the comments have told me there's the freaking plane destroying the audio. Some of you guys have told me in the comments that you love it too, but I've heard it's limited edition, so I want to pick it up before it goes away entirely. I just think this color would be beautiful. I love glosses. I love an easy lip, so it seems like a good time. This is something that I would have picked up had there not been the sale, and that's what a lot of these things are. A lot of these are like, I wanted to pick these up before the sale, and the sale just is like, oh, perfect. Why not get them on a deal? I have the Tarte Love, Trust, and Fairy Dust palette on here. That retails for $39, and I want to pick this palette up, and I'm really tempted to because it's something I swatched in store since doing my kind of like guilty pleasures wish list video and I think it's beautiful the swatches looked amazing and it's $39 I'm like I just want to pick it up and enjoy it like what am I wasting my time around for but I'm just I have this feeling it's gonna freaking go on sale and then I'm gonna be upset but then I'm like even if it goes on sale in like three months I would have been using it for three months and enjoying it so that's worth it so I think because the 20% off I think I might just like bite the bullet pick that one up hopefully it doesn't go on sale for at least another three months so I can not be like jaded about it but I love that palette I think it's pretty it's super boring the packaging is really cute though I like the price point there's like a really pretty duochrome like I'm just giving in to temptation and I'm gonna enjoy that thing. I have a foundation on here. This one's from Lancome and it is the Taunt Idol Ultra Long Wear Foundation Stick. I have actually used one of these up. I got that one actually as PR and I liked it so much that I wanna pick up another one. I'm gonna pick up the shade 90 Ivory, which is the lightest shade where I had the second lightest shade previously. And I'm kind of doing this going into winter. I know I'm gonna be losing my tan. I didn't really love the shade match on the last one I used up completely. So I'm hoping this one isn't too, too light, but even if it is, I'll just mix it until I get to the point where I'll be able to use it on its own. Once we get into like the depths of winter and I'm at my lightest. So um, this is like a very expensive product. It retails for like $46. I feel like if you're really using this product, you can go through it very fast. There's a lot of product like in the base of it, like once you use up the actual stick, cause it's like a roll up stick foundation, but I enjoyed it. I used it all up. It's a foundation that I look back on with like, oh, wonder. So I do want to pick that one up again and I might as well get the deal on it. And these last ones here are all kind of fun ones. They're definitely nothing. I need. Um, nothing that I don't probably already have, but kind of for the love of makeup, want to pick up. So the first one is one of the Becca Shimmering Skin Perfectors. I want to pick up Vanilla Quartz, and again, I want to do it in the mini, so it's $19. I just love the formula of it. That color is going to look really pretty on me, I'm pretty sure, so I think I'm going to pick that one up. And then these last ones are kind of more of the luxury items. Now, the sale is a great time to pick up some of those luxury items that maybe you wouldn't normally buy, uh, but I don't like to mention those in my recommendations just because I don't think you should just buy something because it's expensive and now it's not as expensive like I think you should really pick up things you're actually going to use and I don't normally love a lot of luxury makeup like if there's this scale of like cheap drugstore stuff and like super luxury I'm definitely more over here like I enjoy this world I live for it I love cheap makeup so it takes a lot for me to like really want to try out some of the more expensive stuff but lately I've just been really infatuated with Pat McGrath I follow 
follow her on Instagram. I just like the inspiration. I feel like when it first came out, I felt like there was a lot of hype, and so I kind of just was like, what of? But now that it's like been this established brand, she's just killing it. I think that her stuff just, it's really been enticing me, is all I have to say. So I have a couple lip products on here. I want to try the eyeshadows really, really bad, but I think the palette that kind of strikes me the most is the new one that's gonna come out on the 7th of September. So I'm not gonna pick up the other ones because that one really looks beautiful and if I was gonna do one, I might as well just save for that one. Anyway, so long-winded, I'm so sorry, y'all. I wanna pick up one of the lip glosses from Pat McGrath. These are the Lust Lip Glosses and I'm gonna pick up Fetish Astral. This retails for $29. This is a beautiful color. Um, looking at the swatches on all the three skin tones on Sephora's site, it just looks so freaking pretty. Like, these lips look plump and shiny and beautiful and I just, I want that. So hopefully it'll look just as good on me and then I'm gonna go for it I'm gonna get the lip fetish lip balm this retails for $38 I think my fresh lip balm is expensive, which is one of my favorites, but this one takes the cake. I love the packaging. I just want to try it. I want to support the brand, and so I'm going to pick up the lip balm. I know it's something that I'm going to wear a ton, like out of all the lip colors. I'd rather pick up this lip balm that's crazy expensive than pick up like a lipstick in some color because I know myself and I'm not going to wear it. So <laughs> I'm picking up the lip balm. And then my last kind of luxury item here is from Natasha Denona, and I'm going to pick up one of the blush duos, and I'm I'm gonna pick up number 15 at Sheer Nude. It retails for $38, so again, very, very expensive, but I just kinda wanted to try another blush. I feel like all the blushes in my collection are a little bit older, which is fine, I love them, and I tend to wear very similar blushes, but I feel like these colors are in my wheelhouse. They're like things that I would use, and I wanna try out the formula, try something other than the eyeshadows from Natasha Denona, so that's on my list as well. And that's everything for this video. Let me know what you guys are gonna pick up during the sale, if you're gonna pick up anything at all. I don't think you should be like pressured by any of these videos to pick up things. If you feel content with your makeup, there will be another sale. Another day will come. But I would love to know if there's something you really want, like your number one item. Let us know in the comments. If you have some favorite items, share them so that it's kind of like this huge recommendation list in the comments. Thank you guys so, so much for watching. I hope you're having an amazing day and I will see you in my next video. Bye guys!